Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. Today, I want to talk about technology. Ah, I just got this new webcam. And as you can see, brighter, um, yeah, seems to be doing the trick. But today I want to talk about technology, as I say, and uh, I have to make sure at the moment that I'm holding my EMF and my Shungite because I'm getting some weird symptoms today. Um, I seem to be getting dizzy, heaviness in my head, shaky, like shaky baby. <laughs> and my tummy's a bit upset and it's causing a few problems, um, as you can imagine. So I'm gonna get this over with quickly so I can turn off the Wi-Fi again. I've been turning the Wi-Fi off and I must admit I've been getting a lot of relief. Um, the dizziness has been going down. Um, I've been feeling less shaky. I mean, my head and my neck were feeling so heavy. Uh, it was unbelievable, really, really heavy. And so, you know, I, I have to take this seriously. I have to take what is going on here with me and what is going on with technology that it can affect us. It can affect us. Um, so what I did is I turned off everything. I turned off the Wi-Fi, I turned off the internet, I turned off ele the electricity, um, and I put cold water on my neck and my head. Um, I had some vitamin C, collodial silver, black seed oil, all the things I know work. And I must admit, it did, re it did help, completely helped. All the dizziness disappeared. The dizziness has come back again now a bit. I've turned the Wi-Fi back on again, but I can't use this new webcam without Wi-Fi. And I don't know why it's not lighting up. So it looks like it's working. Anyway, um, so I've got my Shungite here protecting me. And so I think we need to be very aware of this, of technology and how are we with technology? Is it affecting you? Because it, as I say, it was really affecting me in a big way and scared, scared the life out of me. So um, I've noticed this before, when we went on to Wi-Fi, we moved in here. Um, and very quickly, as soon as the Wi-Fi went on, before I had even a chance, my stomach, it was like I had to run to the loo. Um, so I'm obviously very sensitive to EMF and, and I'm hoping that, um, the light and sound that I can do at the positivity center is going to raise me above this and put me into a vibration where it won't affect me. But between you and me, at the moment, it doesn't feel 100%. So what I'm saying to you, you need to be aware of how it affects you as well. Now, the other thing I want to talk about today is borderline personality disorder and the fact that I don't believe in it. I believe uh, that there's a stigma attached to it and um, it's not a real mental illness and my research shows me that it's post-traumatic stress disorder and that every single person is walking around with this condition especially with lockdown and all the stress that we're going through borderline personality disorder is just a good excuse to over medicate people and to tell you that there's nothing they can do a bit like fibromyalgia and so um it's a bit, I have the song, the, border, the BPD song, which is going to encounters, which is a little bit of agoraphobia, a little bit of OCD, a little bit of claustrophobia, that's BPD, a little or a lot of depression, lace with it's all about me, narcissism, a cup of Tourette's, 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 now what comes next? That's BPD, doom, doom, doom. A little bit of autism, a little bit of AD or ADHD, a cup of paranoia. Are you looking at me? That's BPD. Now add in schizoid tendencies and make it all about me. Narcissism. <laughs> a spoon of manic states got a lot in our plates with a monkey brain that I cannot tame. That's BPD, it's all about me, and OCD, and PTSD, <laughs> that's BPD. So draw your own conclusions, guys. 
borderline personality disorder. Let's pull a how to stay sane in a crazy world card now, um, because this is what helps me stay sane on a daily basis. And as I say, I do my techniques, I eat, don't get too hungry, too angry, too lonely, or too tired. And let's see what cards we pull today. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better now because I turned down the Wi Fi and everything for a while and it completely cleared my neck and my head. So there is something going on here. We need to be aware of it. Okay. Creativity. How to stay sane in a crazy world. To create is to breathe. Is there something you could do as a hobby or profession you love as much as your own breath? What talents do you have? Do you sing, act, write? What can you do today to fulfill your creativity? Creativity is a great tool to stay insane. I use it all the time. You have great talents. God loves given talents. It is said that we created in God's image, so surely that means we are all creators. I use my God-given talents today to help myself to say balance. So what talents can you use? Today I had to talk to my friend. This is from How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World. Go back to front. <laughs> today I had to talk to my friend and we talked about talents. And what can you do to stay sane? And what is it she's missing? And oh, I like this. It's not a, new, a mirror image. So when I'm twirling my hair here, it's the right side that I'm twirling <laughs> because the other thing does my head in when I can't, you know, know which is right and left. Um, so um, she wants to be an actress. So I said to her, put a program of movie on TV. I'll put it out there. You are an actress. How to stay sane in a crazy world. Choose something that you love as much as I love making programs. Um, I, I, another thing is I couldn't figure out this new webcam. As you can see, it's stunning. The colors are stunning. It's really strong. It's beautiful. But I couldn't figure out how to use it. It was so dark. And I'm not, you know, I'm not a professional camera person or anything like that. I don't know about dark and light. And here I'm taking you from the dark into the light. So. This was a simple solution, guys. I took it into the shed and of course the picture got better. And then I realized the light was, behind, was in front. So I turned it around towards the light and days of going crazy and not being able to figure it out, fixed itself. So I took it from the dark into the light and that was so simple. And something, sometimes it's so simple to take yourself from the dark into the light. You turn off the Wi-Fi, the heaviness and the headaches go out of the body. You, you turn, you get your shungai and your EMF, put it to your body, breathe. Before I go, I want to do an aura cleansing with you. So I want you to imagine that your aura, the aura is all around you, okay? And I want you to imagine the angels have got like these little hoovers and they're hoovering up your aura. Okay, so let's do this. I want you to put your feet on the ground, feel Mother Earth and feel the energy the, going into the ground, the roots going into the ground. Breathe and feel those roots going into the ground. Feel Mother Earth healing you, drawing you, grounding you. And then I want you to imagine this hoover going around your aura. Cleansing up all the dirty technology around you. Anything you don't want in your aura. You can do this if you like. You can clap around your aura. Whatever you feel is going to get all of this. You know, when I go to the positivity center and I lie on the beautiful bed, with the light and the sound, and Paul goes around doing shamanism. I feel like a hundred million percent when I come out of there. All the tension goes out of my body. It's like I'm cleansed, I'm healed. So he is doing something similar, you know, with the light and sound. So, you know, when we open again, lockdown is over, I recommend you go to the positivity center and you cleanse your aura with the amazing work that Paul is doing. I'm doing it now. I'm imagining this hoover. Shh. 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 
cleansing all the dirty energy. Take care. I love you lots. You can contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. Like, subscribe and share. I love you lots. And if you want to come on to the program, you know where I am. Uh, do your own shows. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. Thank you.